What is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Imperez 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. I believe this is the 24th episode of this series, and today we are going to be talking about stock car racing at the Daytona Road Course that just happened this past weekend. You guys know that throughout the entire year since the announcement of the 2021 Clash that seeing stock car racing at the Daytona Road Course is a dream come true. I thought I had to wait until February of 2021. However, because of this pandemic, there were a lot of changes, temporary changes for this year. And one of those changes that I never expected was to have a points race at the Daytona Road Course. I didn't even expect the ARCA to be at the Daytona Road Course. The Ar um, ARCA, Xfinity, and Cup, they were the replace... Uh, the Daytona Road Course were the replacements of the Walk into Glen, which did not happen because of the pandemic. And the replacement was the dates on a road course. Trucks, um, originally, I think they were supposed to race at Eldora and Montreal and other uh, tracks. And guess what? They were replaced by the Daytona road course. If you were to tell me, probably like a month or two months ago, that NASCAR is going to go Daytona road course racing. I would call bullshit. But that is not the case. It actually happened. My dreams actually came true six months earlier. And I am so extremely happy and grateful that I got to see stock car racing at the Daytona Road Course. Finally, a dream come true. And where do we begin, folks, after this exciting weekend we have? Let's start with the Arca Racing se Arca Menard Series. The Arca Menard Series raced on Friday night. It was a wet start because of rain. It was only delayed because of thunder, because it's Florida weather. Florida's, wa Florida's weather is bipolar as hell. You, you can ask me about that. And boy, boy oh boy, that was, that was a great race. It was awesome. Michael Self and Ty Gibbs were giving everybody one hell of a show after racing side by side, battling for the lead. Oh, they gave us one hell of a show. If you guys saw our reactions, you guys know how their reactions went. Also, thank you guys so much for over 3,000 views of the Arkham Menard series at the Daytona Road Course. I never expected this. And that made me so happy. And, uh, and, and people who comment on, like, like, um, I had this one comment saying, like, my reactions are natural. It's way better than the, the commentary of the call of the races. You guys are awesome. Like, those kind of comments. This is why I do these reactions. Although I'm, I'm a part-time reactor, this is why I do reactions. You guys love it. I give you guys good content. Thank you guys so much for the support on Friday night. The Daytona Road Course Arca Race, it was a great one. Michael Self sweeps the Daytona Road Course and continues to hold on to that championship lead alongside with Brett Moffitt. The next day was the Xfinity Series at the Daytona Road Course. Again, we had a delay because of lightning. So yeah, and then after that, we finally got underway. Um, for the first half of the race, it was good. It was awesome. It was awesome. Like the racing itself was ex was excellent. And just, I I don't know what to say. It was another great one. The last parts of the race it got crazy. And you guys know how the reactions went. It was crazy as hell. 
But then, oh boy, Austin Cindric, of course. Who would have thought would win the Daytona Road Course? Now, I was hoping Chase Briscoe would win. He was the biggest threat of Austin Cindric. I thought Almendinger can get it. But he wasn't really that much of a factor. Even when he got the lap penalty, I think he was coming and all. But I don't know. It, 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 it wasn't like as I expected. No, so since Austin Cedric won, he can finally stop crying about Chase Briscoe racing hard. God, what a bitch. Ugh. Anyway, so the Xfinity race was fantastic. It's, it's, it's the Xfinity series. They've been wonderful once again this year. So, Arca was great. Xfinity was fantastic. That's half of the Daytona Road Course weekend so far. Now let's go on to Sunday with the trucks at the Daytona Road Course. They brought up a good show. They were amazing. They were great. It shows why people love the truck series. Although their season hasn't been the best I've seen, but the Daytona Road Course truck race, it was awesome. I was hoping that Moffitt would get to Shelton Creed, but unfortunately he just didn't get there he didn't he didn't push hard enough but Sheldon Creed he does have some road course experience so yeah Matt Crafton how about that I thought he was gonna get it done I don't know and then we had the moment where we had a four truck battle for the lead who is it the GMS trucks of Sheldon Creed and Brent Moffitt and then Matt Crafton and Parker Klingerman I didn't expect Parker Klingerman to be a factor who did that was that was awesome, and then we had Raphael Lassard, who wasn't who hasn't had the best rookie season this year. He showed up, and then Eckes showed up, and then everybody just kept coming. And hello, beautiful, just beautiful. They were good. They were good. I will admit that, and um, it was insane. As for the Xfinity, like, of course it was fantastic, but as a Cali fan, oh, it killed me. Rush Chastain with transmission issues. Justin Haley got into the wet grass. Also, Splitter's one of the reasons. They're garbage, but it's the wet grass at the same time. But, oh my god, I was hoping Cali Racing would be a threat. But they messed up. It just, it just wasn't meant to be. But hey, at least AJ brought it home a fourth place. So, hell yeah. And now we get to the Cup Series, the last race of the weekend of the Daytona Road Course. It was all right. It was okay. Um, the race could have been better. Why do I say that? Because, honestly, one of the reasons why the race was okay, this is just my personal opinion, but at least there's a, like a reason to it was because the higher downforce. Yeah. They still had the 750 horsepower. However, they brought back the higher downforce. And the racing itself was good. But I don't know. That 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 bothered me. It was okay. Like. I don't want to say it was the worst race of the weekend. Because none of the races were bad or terrible or horrible. But Cup was just underwhelming but then again it's the cup series so yeah but um jimmy johnson bringing the white ally or aka rally how about a top five boy i don't and then i know some people are gonna be like oh do you think he has a chance to make it to the chase honestly i really don't give a crap about the chase with the with the format we have now the unfortunate format it does not belong in motorsports if this was no chase, or if this was the non-elimination chase, oh, hell yeah, I'll be able to talk about it, but with the garbage gimmick elimination format we have now, I don't give a fuck. I watch motorsports for the racing and drivers collecting those points and all that stuff. I don't watch it for ball sports gimmicks, circus performance, ball sports on wheels, all that fake crap. But Jimmy Johnson, he ran a good race. Chase Elliott. At this point, add more road courses for Chase because he's just going to win them all. Chase Elliott, at this point, is becoming a big threat when it comes to road courses. 
and he brought home another dub for Hedrick Motorsports. Hell yeah, Chase. Well done, bro. Well done. Honestly, coming into the dates on a road course, even if it was announced, I'm like, I feel like Chase might get this. Because like I said, it could have been Watkins Glen if it wasn't for the pandemic. I'm like, we're going to have a road course replacement and I think Chase is going to get it. I didn't really like 100% predict that because coming into Daytona, I didn't know what to expect. But Chase Elliott, he's a road course threat. Whenever you go, whenever we go to a road course race, oh, he's going to be there. Whenever we go to the Charlotte Roval, whenever we get to the 2021 Clash, whenever we get to Sonoma, whenever we get Watkins Glen back, oh, he'll be there. I'll tell you that. He'll be there. Better watch out. I really hope he wins Sonoma. Oh, any road course we race, I promise you, he will be there. And same with Hendrick Motorsports. They make good with road courses. I'm not just saying this out of buyers because I'm a Hendrick Motorsports fan. I am a fan, but honestly, they're good at road courses. Eddie was showed last year, the, the Charlotte Robo, they were there. Byron, Jimmy, Bowman, Chase. Woo! But, but Chase Elliott's the star of the road courses at this point, as of now. Then we got Truex and Kyle Busch. Once again, Kyle Busch. 2020, right? I hate it for Kyle Busch this year. God, it sucks. I can't believe he's struggling. But yeah, Chase Elliott. Whenever we go to a road course, he'll be there. Better watch out. So yeah, what would I rate the road, Daytona Road Courses? I would do it by fourth through first. Fourth uh, best race was obviously Cup. Um, not the worst, not terrible, but it was okay. The third best Daytona Road Course race was, this is hard, I didn't even think of it. I tried to think about this before filming, but I still can't decide it. Because honestly, I think Arca, Xfinity, and Trucked, they're all tied, honestly, for the best races. But Xfinity takes number one. Arca takes number two, honestly. Trucks take third. There you go. You heard it from here. So Xfinity was the best Daytona Road Course race of the weekend. The entire race was just fantastic. And it got crazy at the end. But yeah, it was awesome. But, despite which race was good, which race was okay, the entire weekend was just a dream come true. Oh, I was excited for all the races. Like, besides the Daytona 500, besides the Chili Bowl Nationals, besides the Indy 500, besides the big races that I always get excited about the most, I was very, very excited for the Daytona Road Course. Because the Daytona National Speedway is my all-time favorite motorsports track. And to see stock cars race at the Daytona Road Course, oh my god. It's a dream come true. I even did like a Project Cars 2 stock car live stream when I had my original channel last year. I still remember that. And I didn't think it would come true, even way before the Clash announcement for 2021. It was just awesome. Honestly, this, if, if NASCAR goes back to Daytona for the second race, when everything's back to hopefully pre-pandemic, I really hope to see the second Daytona race as a road course. Bring Arca too. Bring Trucks as well. I think it deserves... I think the road course should be the day, second Daytona race. The Crookzilla 400, I know it's cool, but I know I'm pretty much going by Slap Shoes' 2021 schedule. I really hope to see it on 4th of July. But hey, let's go left and right, okay? The, the, the only time Stock Cars should do ovals is Speed Weeks. That's just my personal opinion. I know there's some that will disagree, but that's okay. But yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing. This is why we need more road courses 
in the stock car world. NASCAR and ARCA. We need more road courses because sometimes ovals can be overrated. We have too many ovals sometimes. Let's mix it up a bit. Like, let's have a mix of uh, speedways, short tracks, Daytona Top Dingo, and just have a lot of, and have more road courses. That's how I feel. I think NASCAR should expand to like, to have more road courses because, I don't know. Personally, I don't want to see NASCAR as like a, oh, left turn only sport. I just want them to like, go left and right. Let's go road racing. Let them experience road course racing more. That's what I love about NASCAR when we go, when, that's what I love about stock cars when we go road racing. It's exciting. It shows skills. It's different and I love it. If we have more road courses in the future, Ooh, I'm, it's going to be awesome. I don't care what the boomers say. I don't care about anti-road course fans say. I don't give a fuck. Road courses are awesome. So, yeah. That's how I feel. That's my personal opinion. <sighs> what an exciting weekend that was. And I want to know what you guys think. Personally, I think the Daytona Road Course weekend was a success. Of course, there were some flaws, but hey, it is what it is. Not everything, not everything's gonna be perfect and all that stuff. I'm just happy it finally happened. I'm just glad it happened. That's all I care. Let's do it again. And and who knows? Maybe we might have the Daytona Road Course as a points race permanently in the future. I, from what I heard from, what's his name? Jet Kraus, MDK Jet. I watch his videos, but I can't get the name right. I heard uh, from his video, he said um, that they're in the works about that. So, let's see how it goes. I really hope we get to see more road courses and stock cars. I, <laughs> I've been obsessed with it. <laughs> oh, I've been extremely obsessed with it, honestly. I need to calm down. But, yeah, that's how excited I am whenever I get to see road course races. Besides... Daytona and short tracks and all that stuff. Or Homestead, my home track as well. Road course racing. I always look for that shit. It's awesome. And this week improves why we need more road course racing. I hope we get more in the future. Oh, except for short tracks too. But yeah, road course gang, where you at? Anyway, I think that's enough for right now. I want to know what you guys think about the Daytona Road Course. What do you guys think about the weekend? Which one was the best race? Which one was the not the best race? Feel free to tell me in the comments below. Do you want to see more road courses in NASCAR? Do you want to see Daytona second? Do you want to see Daytona Road Course permanently on the schedule in the future for the three NASCAR series in ARCA? Feel free to tell me in the comments below. And I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts, Instagram, I'm Press 25 and EMPRS40 underscore IT. Like my Facebook page, enasco 40 Nation Films. Don't forget to follow me on Reddit, u slash enpress48. No, 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 this, this shit's in the description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. Dreams do come true, kids. Dreams do come true. Looks like in the motorsports world, the pandemic has given us a gift for some stuff. This is one of them. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.